<coughs> you like that? You like that? Did. You, you like that, baby? Did that, up, did that up my butthole. Mm. Good. Ready in. Hana, dude, set. <laughs> Konnichi. What's going on, everybody? My name is Jamal Sakoro. My name is Jerron Gaddis. And we are the Wanna Be Boo Podcast, bringing you the latest and greatest game anime news, reviews, and waifus for life. Welcome to episode 92. 92. We're There's slow. no real funny things to say about the number 92. No, but we are getting closer to that good old uh, centennial episode for the Sin. podcast. And for those of you who don't speak, uh, for those of you who don't speak Hercules, that's referring to the 100th episode. Don't um, speak Hercules. <laughs> you so, right? It is Latin, no, no, or Greek? That's Greek. Ah, uh, yes. All right. Um, if you don't speak dead language, then yes, there you go. It's 100. Um, oh, no, uh, uh, before we before we do anything else, I kind of I kind of want to like put out there, uh, put out a couple of announcements for the podcast. Go for it. I mean, I told, I already texted you one of the things, uh, yes. the other day. So that we are on encore. On what? Oh yeah. Um. So, for those of you guys who don't know yet, um, we also started posting the podcast onto Anchor dot com or is it dot net? Um, dot net it com. A- no, it's dot anchor dot fm. So we Ooh. are. We are on Anchor.fm, but not only that, but Anchor has been helping has been helping us out a lot. So not only that, um, we're also we're finally on Spotify as we want to be as in, as a podcast. But now we're hey. also oh yeah yeah I yeah. forgot about that yeah. But now we're apparently we're on Breaker.com. We're also on Breaker. Go- we're also now on Google Podcasts, and we're on Podcast Cast. And the le- and the latest thing that we got on we are on RadioPublic.com. So all right, <laughs> the the boy, uh, the fucking wee boys are are getting out. We're reaching out, and you know what that means. Let's get them sponsors. Let's get them sponsorships. Now, now, I, now, I, hold I, on. I, now, hold on. I want I want a sponsorship from fucking um um, flashlights. Okay, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The 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 wannabe boo flashlight. There you go. Exactly. We got we gotta start we gotta start pushing our hentai our our hentai uh, agenda here, Duran. Because that's what we built this podcast on. We're we're close to 100 episodes, and we've done so much, and we can't have done enough. Uh, we can't have done any of this well, without the support of obviously our fans out there, but also with the good old, um, libido energy of hentai. Yeah, right. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, so <clears throat> this is no nut, no nut November. So kudos to everybody if you're if you made it this far. I made it in three days. Oh, nice! Before I, I fucking lost it. <laughs> I it's couldn't. Not... I li- literally couldn't. Well, it's not. It's not bad. That not as bad as me. I day one was pretty much my day of reckoning. So you're fucking. Well, that's all right. Yeah. Well, to, to be fair, I was bored. I do a lot nowadays. When you get to my age, like a a, a, a scruffy, <laughs> when you get to my age as a scruffy twenty five right. year old, you kind of start doing yeah. things for out of boredom, eating, yeah. uh, exercising, jerking off, you know, things yeah. as things that uh that come with age, you know. Right. It's tough, you're on. Right, I'm you're sure fucking right. On. That's yeah. <laughs> Masturbation comes with age. Just, to, I mean, I guess yeah. It does. I mean. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, everyone's different, I guess. But for me, it comes out of boredom sometimes. But sometimes I see a good pair of titties. I'm like, you know what? Yeah, let's go. Um, I'm, I'm in the mood now. Well, um, see, here's the thing. I, I, I started it specifically because uh, I was like, all right, I want to get some temperance. You know, I want to show myself that I can hold back because I usually do it maybe like every day. Really? Uh, But, you know, it's, it's your special time to make yourself feel better. What You know, whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, and what nut? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'm a genius. unfortunately, my Facebook is absolutely covered in anime titties. <laughs> mm. So as well as our Twitter, <laughs> as well as our Twitter. You know we follow so, porn star on Twitter now. But she does cosplay. She does cosplay porn. It is fascinating. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't believe. Mm-hmm. 
I kind of blame Martrell for that because we were looking, we were looking specifically for like something else, and then we ended up uh-huh. finding her cosplaying as Nezuko. I'm like, huh. And then all of a sudden, I click on one of her videos. Like, oh, that's pussy. Yep. Um, all right. I guess well, we're. I'm follow. I'm, we're following this person now. I mean, you kind of have to at that point. Yeah. She recently just came out with a two-parter series with um one of the Persona Five characters. Um, no, the um, orange. Li- Emoto Chan. Oh, um, Utaba. Yeah, yeah. She just released a two-parter of that. Well, there you go. Yeah. What's her name? Um, oh, I'm gonna have to look through my fucking history now. <laughs> ah! Did you hear that? I hope you didn't hear that. Was that? Did you hear my phone vibrate? I I heard I heard your your vibrator go off. You you should really clench a little harder. Uh, well, I mean. You know that means we're getting a download. So every vi- there you go. <laughs> every vibrate means we get a download. Um, damn, what is her name? That's okay. Uh, you 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 can keep talking while I uh, look for the anime titties. But uh, yeah, so fucking um, jeez, why did I come to this site? Um, <laughs> what, <are you laughs> what was I even talking? I I don't know. Titties, I, masturbation. So like I said. So like I said. I yeah. So I was going. Uh, my Facebook's covered in anime titties because I, I have no control over my life, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and it's just kind. Of, it's just kind of hammers on your will over time, and it's just like you know what? I have a headache. I feel like trash. <laughs> you know what that sounds like? It. That sounds like excuses, boy. A <laughs> headache. Oh, you know what? They have something called Advil, not dick. <laughs> Advil doesn't come out of my penis. <laughs> Advil does the exact same shit. You can be yeah, medicated. But, yeah, you, but it you'd rather doesn't be medicated come, than Yeah, answer. but I can't do it and watch hentai titties at the same time. Wait, so what? you mean take Advil and watch hentai titties? Yeah, you can. You can yeah. drug yourself. No, you can no. drug yourself while taking hent- while working at hentai titties. What are you talking about? We've been doing that for years. Weebs have been pioneering <laughs> drug inducing uh, delusions <laughs> with anime titties. The fuck You're are you right. talking about? Are you fucking right? Uh, I, who knew finding look, who knew looking at trying to find titties on Twitter was a fucking mess? Nah, I mean you know it's always difficult. There's a lot of beautiful people out there. There is also a lot of wholesome things too. We started following like a, we also started following a a Comey, um, uh, artist as well. Like they just oh just... that oh I love that I love that manga so much. Mm-hmm. They just start they just post like wholesome fan art of. Of Komi san and like all of her friends and shit. It's mm-hmm. nice. Speaking uh, of, I need to catch up with that manga. Yeah, I know. Oh, a big thing just happened in the manga. I am so happy about well, don't it. Don't spoil it. I'm not gonna spoil me, it. It's it's an experience. I haven't seen it in forever. It's an experience that you'll that you'll definitely have to go through yourself. Is that okay? Never mind. I thought he was holding something else. Um, there was wasn't there also one more? I think I had one more announcement as well. Um. Did I have another another announcement? Oh yeah, so well, it's not an announcement. I'm sort of I'm sort of expanding on the whole Anchor FM thing. Uh huh. Um. So the, now the only thing is, I've in, for the past two days, well, day and a half, including today, mm-hmm. I've been uh, I I took five hours at least of each of those these days, including so far before we started recording. Yeah. Um, out of my time to manually upload. Every episode up until now to Anchor FM. <laughs> Oof. So it was, it's it's interesting, and because after because at a, at a certain point I started listening to them just to like you know remember what what the episodes were, and I can definitely confidently say that we have definitely evolved a little bit and cleaned up a bit of our podcasting performance for the most part. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like the fucking I don't I don't we we didn't get the intro plug until like episode ten. If I remember correctly, yeah, we because I kept fucking it up. And then I don't think when did we start adding the the ending plug? I can't remember. I, I didn't actually listen to all of them towards the end, but I think it might have been like around the same time as like either fifteen or twenty ish. So uh, I had to be around there, yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the Comey one we're following is the Church of Comey. That's the Twitter page that we are the Twitter pay, uh, fo- thing we're following in terms of mm-hmm. Comey. Um, but yeah, so right now I am on episode 
81. So I've got 10 more to go. <laughs> well, 11 after we recorded this one to put on fucking uh, on the site. So, mm. but up until that, but once I get there, we'll be cu- I'll be finally cu- finally caught up, and then everyone can enjoy the Wannabe Ibu podcast and all of those uh, stations that we mentioned. Plus, you know, the one that we normally post on anyway. Right, the ones that we always say. So we're gonna try to list them again. So <clears throat> here we go. Make sure to follow us on Facebook or Twitter. Just search W A N N A B E A B O O. You can also listen to us on Hold On to Your Butts, folks, because I'm going to end up writing this down afterwards because I'm going to forget it all. Uh, you can find us on YouTube, iHeartRadio, Google Play, Google Podcasts, uh, Listen Notes, the Stitcher app, Anchor, uh, Podcast Addicts, the Stitcher app, Apple Podcasts. I've probably said that on one already. Uh, I don't think how so. Uh, um, Spotify. Spotify. You already say I, I had radio.com, right? I did. Okay. Um, Breaker. Breaker. Um, 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 we're on Breaker. We're on Google Podcast also. Yep. Said that one. Okay. Um, um, pod, I said pocket, listen notes, I think. Pocket casts. Pocket casts. We're and, in a, a rocket in, in your pocket. And radiopublic.com. And what? Radio. radio. Okay. Yeah, radiopublic.com. WGCI, Radio Public. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're yeah. not affiliated by WGCI, by the way, so <laughs> that's an actual state. Not yet, anyway. Not yet. I mean, sh- you know what? Yeah. Find, find, find us on a fucking public radio broadcast, and we fucking made it. There you go. You know. I, I don't know if <laughs> we should and- be on a public <laughs> Maybe one of those like late, late night shows, you know, yeah. ones that no one is awake to like listen to except like you know the truck drivers now and then. Uh huh. Or like um, what's his face, the one that used to do like radio and had nudies, had the boobies. Uh the... oh, uh, uh, Howard Stern. There we go. Yeah, whether we be the Howard Stern of weebs. Um, you know what? I'd yeah. be fine with that. Yeah, I still want Elon Musk on the show though. Hey Elon, <sighs> you listening? You're listening. No, but, um, but. Um, hold on, before we go, before we continue, um, make sure you guys, uh, we, I, I, I made this announcement last last podcast as well, um, but make sure to uh, do, make sure to do your part in either donating and or just spreading the news of teamtrees.org to help plant 20 million trees um, by January 1st, 2020 or more, you know? Also. Your, oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Go, 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 go. On. Oh, I'm just. I was gonna elaborate more on that. Uh, Mr. B started yeah, this campaign some odd week, a uh, few weeks ago, and if as of this moment, um, we are at uh, numbers going up, numbers going up. We are at 12 million trees planted. Um, I already made my donation. I've made my donation on behalf of W of the Wanna Be Boos out there. Wanna Be Boo Cast Pod. My Wanna Be Boo Podcast out there. Mm-hmm. Wasn't a lot, but I was able. To, I still was able to download. It was really easy, and I encourage all of you guys to, you know, at the very least, just spread the word of Team Trees hashtag Team Trees, and let's make let's make Earth green again. There you go. That's a that's a that's a <laughs> surprise. No one's well. I'm pretty sure someone's taken but, that, but I like let's make Earth green again. Yeah. Uh, but I was gonna say as well, um. Pornhub is also oh. doing a thing for trees. Really? Every uh, what is it? Every minute or what is it? Every video watched, or every yeah, every video watched, they do they plant a tree. Oh, okay. Something uh, like that. Let's see. I want. I need to look this up and make sure we properly um, represent Pornhub this. Pornhub seed plant. Maybe I shouldn't say seed. Seed <laughs> porn videos. Hold on. What do seed, we got here? Uh, <laughs> All right. That is a hefty. That's a, that is a hefty combination of words there, my friend. Plant your seed. What is that? Is that, is that uh, I hope that's a campaign. Uh, no, it's a woman telling you to plant your seed in her. All right, oh. that's not the right one. I mean, planting seeds number one. All right, what what do we got here? Uh. 
premium is officially free. Hey, just so you know, Pornhub premium is free now. Uh, let's see. Is this, is this an information thing? What? No, it's use of cost. No. Use of cost. Let's see. Uh, let's see. This is just sucking dick and having sex. All right. So I don't know where it's at. <laughs> uh, tree. Uh, charity. Let's see what we got. Uh, Pornhub cares. Hey, maybe. Uh, where is it? Where is I it? I do. Where is I it? found something that, but it's not too recent. This is from like twenty. That a while ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, Pornhub promises to plant a tree for every one hundred videos watched or something. That yeah, that's what it was. Ah, uh, well, that was done in twenty fourteen. Um, I thought they restarted that. I remember. I I knew I. Uh, or maybe it's an ongoing thing. Maybe because like what's it? Pornhub gives America wood. That's that's the name of the whole thing. Pornhub yeah. gives America wood. I don't know. People were talking about it on uh, the various spheres of the internet. So I don't know. Maybe maybe I was mistaken. Oh wait, hold on. Well, I mean the 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 site or the the link to that is still live. Oh well, yeah. Um, so I guess it's ongoing. Yeah. I mean, for those of you who failed known on November, you can still do you can still do a part, do your part in providing your nut into a greener for earth, earth. for Earth Chan <laughs> for Earth Chan. You know, that's actually what I labeled my donation. Do it for Earth, do it for Earth Chan. <laughs> so <laughs> there's no other way. There's no other way. But yeah, so uh, talking about uh, laying your nuts, um. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. What do we want to talk about first? A little bit of anime or a little bit of video games? Because we got, or I guess, not too much news in the anime sphere. Just want to talk about anime in general. But mm-hmm. there's also been some news bubbling up in the uh, gaming sphere. Exactly. If you have, I mean, everyone's been talking about it for the past what couple months now, or is it a month and a half? I know. Well, I don't... no, it's about a, been about a week, two weeks or so. Since Has it, it been? I th- I thought. This All right. Well, a couple months since it started. But then yeah, like when like when Winnie the like when Winnie the Pooh ago. when Winnie the Pooh started becoming you know buttered about everything. Right now we just got banned in China. No, <laughs> were we Good ever job. allowed in China, Duran? Uh, maybe you don't know. They still watch anime there somehow. Somehow, I guess. Do you, do you, do you think anyone in China would want to listen to us Westerners? You know about yeah, because they steal everything else. Uh, I don't know what they benefit from stealing our podcast. I mean, they just dub over us in Chinese. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna do this. It's okay. He's Asian. He he can do that. I am Asian. Yes, uh, but <laughs> my people are very close to a uh, very close to chi- to the Chinese homeland. And there you go. Late recent news from my fucking home country is they've been stealing our seas. Apparently, so. There you go. You get to make fun of them. <laughs> uh, well, this is, I guess this is this is my this might as well be a a seamless transition now. Yeah. Into it. So. Uh, so if you haven't heard, Blizzard landed itself in some pretty hot water with the uh, general with America in ge- What am I saying? Oh, with America in general. Right. Um. So they are partnered with China in some way. I forget exactly how. Yeah. Um. Either China's a big like investor or owns a part of Blizzard, something like that. Um. And during the time that this happened, it, there was a like a uh, like a uh, what's it called? Um, um. Something's going on in Hong Kong, and they're trying to become democratic, but. Big China's like, nah, son, communists. Mm-hmm. Um, so people are trying to fight to free Hong Kong because there was suppo- supposed to be some agreement to make it free, but someone, some group didn't allow that to happen and shit got weird. Notice how uh, we're very politically... Um, um, oh, yeah, articulate. we're super informed. Oh, yeah, yeah very, like, you know. We're very, we're like, Fox News, better watch, your, better watch yourselves because we're fucking informed out there. I mean, we still might be more informed than them. I don't know. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> anyway, um, but 
one of the Blizzard tournaments around that time, uh, this one, this kid from China, he won the tournament. But his, I think his name on that he was playing with was like free hashtag or free Hong Kong, and he got about, banned. What are you talking about, Blitch Chung or Blitch Chung? I believe. Okay. Because that's I believe that's when the main controversy controversy started. Yeah, like he was he was like he was patient zero when with the fucking bans, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, he was, uh, you know, free Hong Kong. He won the tournament, so kudos to him. However, because I guess that technically violates Blizzard's uh, no political like commentary um, or something commentary uh, clause for, I guess, all of their players. Mm. Uh, he got denied his um, winnings from that tournament, and he got banned. Mm-hmm. From playing Overwatch, I believe it was, or if not uh, Overwatch, it was some game. Was it? Oh no, I thought uh, Heart Hearthstone. Was it Hearthstone? Hearthstone? Okay, Hearthstone. Yeah, I believe it was Hearthstone. All right, so he got banned from playing Hearthstone. I think he's still banned, actually, which it's kind of shitty based on uh, current events. But um, since that happened, you know, the the video game, you know, Blizzard landed itself in hot water because you know they were supposed to be like the paragons of diversity and mm-hmm. acceptance and shit like that. But here they are silencing this kid for, you know, trying to fight for, you know, raise awareness for his home country. So people are getting got super butthurt about it, you know, understandably. And then Blizzard's like, ah, you know, we're not going to fucking we're just going to follow the money because, you know, China is a big country and they give us a lot of money. So they stuck with the ban. Everyone got upset. Um. And Blizzard's been in hot shit ever since. But mm-hmm. recently, they had BlizzCon, and they announced some stuff. They announced uh, that they're uh, Overwatch 2 and Diablo 4, and probably some other shit that I don't know. Because I didn't mm-hmm. watch it. <laughs> or I didn't watch BlizzCon. I watched, uh, right. um, I watched the trailer for Overwatch 2. Mm-hmm. But um, during that presentation the ceo or president of blizzard came out and made an official apology i guess most people would say quote unquote apology it was more like a sorry not sorry yeah like it was no one no one was really receiving it as an apology right when i've been watching around right and you know like i said they just kind of put themselves in hot shit and now no one likes Blizzard. No, well, some people are excited for Overwatch 2. I'm excited for Overwatch 2. Uh, but, you know, I'll get to my opinion about all this after, I guess, we we get as much information as our un- uneducated selves can. Yeah. Out. Um, I mean, here... I, am I missing anything? No, nah, I don't think so. Um, though I do want to reiterate something. <laughs> Again, we, uh-huh. are, we are not at all, like, very... Uh, at least fully informed about this entire or knowledgeable yeah. to some degree i would i do want to i do want to recommend hitting up other channels that have you know thoroughly explored this entire um this entire scenario and this entire um i guess well it's not really a debate but this this this, subject. En- this yeah. entire subject thoroughly so like right. channel like channels like the quartering or uh young young yeah as well and um there was, philip defranco did a couple episodes on it yeah philly d and there was one more that i um oh clean prince gaming as well he covered he covered a lot of he also covered a lot of the uh the, uh, the happenings as well and review tech usa so mm-hmm. i definitely recommend i mean those are the channels i normally watch when it comes to like games new stuff in general so i really mm-hmm. i recommend hitting those guys up you know to get the full the full coverage on you know everything from the little details to the general uh, know hows of what's been going on so far. Yeah, and you can listen to people that have uh, more than half a brain cell between two people. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> At least I when mean, it comes to the political sphere. Exactly. I mean, it's not like we it's, we we're generally not really very really political, but you know, shit like this is gonna it does affect a, you know a community as a whole, and you know, for right. a company that praises itself on its you know uh 
was a progressiveness and yeah. inclusivity. You know, did you know our main mascot for Overwatch is gay? Whoa, we're super progressive. Yeah. You know but, that kind you of know, stuff. But and you know all of that happens, but then all, all of a sudden you got you know you find out that Winnie the Pooh has sort of been the the mastermind behind the whole thing the entire time. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so, but yeah, we're we're we we. We want to just bring stuff up, you know, stuff like this, because you know it's gonna affect everyone in some way. Um, I know, mm-hmm. I know. Once that the whole Blitz Chung thing happened, people were posting a bunch of stuff on Twitter, like, like oh, themselves, yeah. like them, like you know, deactivating their their Blizzard accounts. Like some people that have been like on WoW for years, just uh, closing their accounts because you know the the happening. So, right. I mean, more power to them, you know, because. From the general idea of what I'm getting is, you know, that China is pretty much infringing on basic human rights. At least that's what I've been. Yeah. I've oh been yeah. No, they like, are. That, that, that's what I've been getting at. So, um, in any community, that's a no-no. You know, I think right. we should, at least, you know, public official or not, we all gotta treat each other in some, um. How do I say in, in 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 some moral light, you know, or a decent in in some level of decency. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do want to give a shout out to my boy Jeff, who's out in China right now. Hopefully, he's not getting mixed up in all of this. Um, <laughs> he's in Hong Kong. Jeff, right now. don't 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 wear <laughs> the Winnie the Pooh outfit. Also, mm-hmm. be careful of them protests because they pro. I think there's protests. I'm pretty sure there's protests. Oh, I'm de- there's definitely gonna be some protests out there. So. He's out, there vaca- uh, he's Mike- out there vacationing and visiting family, but hopefully he's okay, you know? Right, yeah, yeah. We love you, Jeff, you weird motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I do have a question, uh, Jomo. Yeah, what's up? So, it, it, so uh, it's mostly pertaining to video game companies, or here's the idea of companies as a whole. Like just in, um, like the industry? Like, in, in, like industry gaming? Just an industry, yeah. So, how far away from politics do you think a business should be if like, they want to succeed? In terms of, like, um, involvement? Yes. Mm, well, that's, that's sort of, that's tough in a sense because, well, subjectively it's tough. Objectively, I, I objectively speaking, I think... There should be no political involvement when it comes mm-hmm. to um, advancing the industry in some way. Um, right. That's that's my personal take on it. Um, I don't know how and else to really say. Say. I mean, no, I get way. you. Yeah. Base, you know, that's the whole main idea um, that <laughs> our initial. Um, society was built on or i guess capitalist society was built on is yeah it's money's money it goes where it wants don't right. don't make it too political don't like it money is is what it is don't it there's no meaning to it yeah well yeah and my own my only i guess my only kind of like um take away from you know money is money uh the whole money money is money thing as long as that itself doesn't really infringe on the I, I guess the idea the ideas that you as a company have set forth from day one, you know. Right. That's the that's the thing. If you're telling everyone that you're one thing, but your money's you know, it's making you say you something else. Something. Right. 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 Then, then you have to make a choice. Yeah. It's not. It's not necessarily a moral, a, a moral or ethic. Oh no. It's not. It's not a moral, a moral breach. It's more so about ethics as a you know as a business, and mm-hmm. as a you know as a company, because. You know, you you can you can personally say that, or you you can say that you you know have a business plan that's set like this, and this is the way how it's done. You know, you can you can definitely say that. But if you're suddenly right. changing or making things more convenient for yourself because of a certain, um, how to say this, a certain uh, political influence, then that kind of just overturns everything that you've been building up towards. Over you know over the years right i mean i don't do you, do you get what i'm trying to say because i'm, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. To... so you're essentially you, again you're just essentially reiterating that 
if you're going to make a statement that your company is one way, but mm-hmm. down the line you change that because your one of your biggest investors is like, you know, it's telling you to do something else and you do it, then mm-hmm. you kind of lose your legitimacy as a company because you know, company uh, any company you know, as as my you know taking you know studying business in college, you know I get a, I got a grand insight to how businesses work. Mm-hmm. But basically, every you can't have a company without trust. Oh yeah. Once you lose that trust, you're not worth anything. Especially and if you're currently. Like... Go on, sorry. Oh, I mean, especially if you're you know if you're trying to be directly involved with your customers, especially with gaming right. in a sense. Right. So now that he now that Blizzard has initially lost the trust in its uh I guess the people that cared because mm-hmm. you know there's people that don't care and it's like yeah I just want my game I don't give a shit yeah um and there's nothing wrong with they that either, lost but... right um now that you've lost the trust of the people that cared and now that you've apologized for doing all that stuff you kind of lost the trust of China. You're kind of in this really bad spot. I mean, I guess it depends on what you do going forward, if you keep the ban or not, and stuff like that. Well, but now they're kind of in a weird spot as a company. Well, yeah, it's a weird spot business-wise. I mean, yeah. truth, truth, be, truth be told, I think it's sort of an obvious... It is, there is an obvious way that they, they can go, which is like to uphold their original values in the, in the first place. You know, starting right. now, you know, even even if it's like starting with whoever is still left over. But, you know, it's kind of right. like, you know, if you hit rock bottom, the only place. But, you know, you even though you've hit rock bottom, the only place you have left is to go up. So if you start rebuilding, you know, what you have left and start making better moves mm-hmm. up until this point, especially, you know, especially since you're a U.S. based company. Right. Is it? Yes. I think is Blizzard U.S. I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, because I mean, though, I know the whole thing was like U.S. based company being influenced by another country's censorship laws, and that's sort of oh, you know, oh, that that's a bad thing in general. Um, yeah, they're uh, I believe their headquarters is in uh, California, so yeah. yeah, I think they're U.S. based company. So, I mean. In my opinion, I feel like most companies should be politically neutral in a sense and just strictly go over, uh, strictly operate as a business, you know, in terms of uh, it, operate in the operate in the business as a business in terms of efficiency and being able to create products for its customers or uh, consumers, you know, mm-hmm. not favoring a specific government that may or may not have some sort of in- investment on your product to make their lives convenient and, you know, make everyone else kind of in the shithole. You know, that's, see, when you start, once you start favoring, you know, individuals like that or, you know, investors in that manner, then that's when you kind of fuck things up like what Blizzard did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm, I'm honestly curious to see how they're going to, Oh, I mean, I see what they're trying to do to dig themselves out of the hole. They're just like, yeah, you know, we're sorry for being, you know, a piece of shit. We'll, We'll stick to our previous morals, you know. Right. And you know, hopefully they do. You know, hopefully they drop uh China like a you know, like hot garbage, but you know. What can you really do? No. Well, the opposite of what they've been doing now, honestly. Right. Right. I mean again, like you said, the, their trust is gone, but you can start you can you can start somewhere. Well, you know, I mean it's not completely you, zero. Well, you have to consider. You also have to consider how today's atmosphere is. You know, the whole you did something wrong. Now you're you're evil forever. Yeah, uh, you our, know that thing. Our our fucking politosphere. <laughs> yeah. So. Very tight knit, ass cheek politosphere. Yep. So I don't know. I don't know if Blizzard's gonna be able to recover. Mm, yeah. Oh, I probably. I think that they probably won't be at the top of the game for a while. Or maybe at all yeah. anymore from this point on. It's like, I I wouldn't say it'll it'll go down. It's going downhill right now, but I don't. I think it's gonna plateau at a certain point. It's not gonna mm-hmm. completely zero out. I don't think so. Right. Because like you said, not everyone really, not everyone 
cares to a degree, you know. There's some that, you know, are more so about their products and whatnot, aren't really politically are not really politically politically motivated in some in some way. And you know, I mean that's mm-hmm. not it's not a good or bad thing. It's you know, everyone's got a choice in terms of their um direction, I guess. All right. You know, as long as they themselves aren't impeding on other people's um um life choices and whatnot. Or mm-hmm. yeah, life choices. That's yeah. true. I wasn't. I was not prepared to take a fucking political course or political TED talk here, Jaron. Nah, it's all right. Um, I mean, it. You know, it's one of those things that have to happen. <laughs> oh no, yeah. I mean, it's a very polarizing subject in general. Right. Um, then, then again, though, I'm not very versed in this either. If it was, you know, if it was about hentai and all that good stuff, yes, we'd be on here for fucking hours. I mean, we've had two podcasts talking about fucking addendums on censoring doujinjis and all that shit, but you know. Right, but I mean, you know, it's it's important because it relates back to back to back to our Shiznia. Yeah, it does. Or Biznia. I mean, I haven't really played Overwatch in a while either, but you know, same. It it still sucks. It still sucks that you know, oh, the guys that made this are are being poopy heads. What? Yeah. And I do I do kind of like that uh, May has become the figurehead for the yeah. hashtag Free Hong Kong. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, her, but, she herself was in China, or right. Hong Kong, in a sense. Wang Kong, yep. Now, speaking of May, mm-hmm. you thought she was a fucking cutie before. But after this m- most recent trailer, boy. I mean, there wasn't there wasn't much different to her, to be honest. Yes, yes. What, 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 what was there different? As my wife, who I take in-depth look at her fucking changes she, okay. she's more she's now more decked out in a combat styled outfit oh so it's, it's more, more combat ready for, and instead of just being in a fucking parka she's in a parka and armor oh uh her hair style's different wait is it yeah it's frayed out a little bit in the back oh. and on the sides you're making me looking all this shit up now. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking right, boy. I mean, I then again, notice. Well, she's your video game wife, but of course, of course, you'll notice this shit. Damn right. <laughs> um, but from what they from what they've released for you know in the trailers and what they said about it about the about Overwatch Two, mm-hmm. it doesn't look like there's gonna be much different outside of some new game modes, new character, and new characters. Yeah, I'm I'm also sort of confused know. about this. Like, what? what's the point of Overwatch Two? Uh, I think they're also doing a graphical overhaul. They're, uh, I think they're switching um, uh, engines. Oh, so it's more so just like soft, like a whole hardware and software like shipped or update or something. Yeah, okay. yeah. So they, I think. Now I don't unfortunately know much enough about game design to. Uh, determine whether or not it'd be possible but i think because they're switching engines they have to put it on a different like entirely different download or a oh, different really? game okay i think I what I'm, I'm not you know 100 percent sure right or or yeah or they could also be adding is there, is there is there like a new system as well like a new like a play a new play system on top of it as well no, it seems like it's going to be the exact same. Oh, really? Oh, okay. It's I was just expecting that least a every... bit, some difference. The reason why I say uh, it's a uh, they switching engine, it's to make it look better. Oh. Not necessarily to make it like play different. differently. Oh, I see. I mean, they are they are ad- adding more PvE, so. Oh, okay. I mean, they did kind of just continue on the story from what we initially had, like from right. way back when Overwatch first came out. Mm-hmm. So, but now May's in, in the main cinematic, and she's perfect. Mm. Yeah, I can see what you mean. Now she's got a little bit more armor, as well. Yeah. So she's she'll be there to take your fucking soul. And Genji's got a hoodie. That's oh the only, shit! That, <laughs> that's the only thing. No, Genji. See, Jomo, you're not looking at the fine details. Am I not? Genji's. Genji has also changed. He has the added hoodie. His leg wear is different. Oh yeah, it's um what the what the fuck do they call it? Tech wear, I think. Yeah. That's the whole that's the whole um fit. That's how it's like. I think it's called tech wear. 
where it's like I think so baggy sweatpants like real tech teched out um, hoodies and whatnot tech wear yeah yeah it's tech wear or street tech wear something like that oh he is from Japan then, he is Japanese so yeah that's that's sort of that's sort of a a Japanese and Korean thing a whole tech wear thing oh my god I hate these things these fucking you know what's worse than a fanny pack like you know what? what's worse you know what Jordan, you know what's worse than people trying to style a fanny pack as like a shoulder what? bag what um wearing a fucking backpack backwards <laughs> You're right. <laughs> what are they? Call- I mean, <laughs> what the fuck are they calling this? Uh, tech wear I, bag vest. That's what they're calling. Nah, it, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. Don't don't put that on. Look, <laughs> I understand. What fashion? If you're you trying shouldn't. to create fashion. No, 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 no. I understand you're trying to create fashion. Oh, okay. Sometimes you just shouldn't. Well, I mean, sometimes fashion, things just don't work. Fashion itself um, breaks the boundaries of imagination, Jaron. Uh, yeah, when you know, especially when people can wear garbage bags on a runway, and people are like, "Oh my God, that's so profound." Yeah, and sometimes some may call it edgy, like this shit right here. Oh yeah, it's. <laughs> mm. Oh boy, do I love me some fucking cyberware. <laughs> Evol- well, uh- you know what? Honestly, I'm gonna say it's. I'm. Um, you know what? So if you ever look up like modern cyberware, uh, I'm gonna be honest. It's tickling my edgy bone. I'm liking it. I like it a lot. Hmm. It I'm not makes getting me much. Feel good. I'm not getting much when I look when I Google that. I get like. Some oh, I mean, I don't, I'm, whatever the hell you search to get that. Oh, techware. It's techware. Techware. There we go. That's what I meant. Yeah. I mean, especially when they start like adding lights and shit onto it. Lights, yes. Yeah. They they'll, they'll add some lights into it, but then wh- what? Like what? Dry, what? Uh, like, confused to me the most is like when they start adding, when they start adding an, an a boundless amount of like straps and shit, like. But I mean, then you, then you're ascending. The more zippers and straps you have, the more anime you are. I guess like you you're, you're driving into like Kingdom Hearts territory of ridiculousness. Like you're telling me they th- that these fifteen straps on your one leg equates to a fucking fun- a function fashionably you know i mean to to be honest i'd probably only wear that for like cons and then never again because that's too much work <laughs> to put on yeah i know that, that shit's layered it's like you've got three layers on top and you put and you get like four different kinds of pants on the bottom i mean yeah, to be honest you look, you look like you're hiking or you're about to go you look like you look like you're about to go hiking in that regard Hiking in the digital space. Oh, Cyberpunk 2077. Insert the fucking meme. <laughs> Cyberpunk's gonna be weird. Oh yeah. Definitely. I don't know how I feel about it. But not as weird I... as fucking um um Death Stranding. I send you another thing with straps, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, so I'm reading a manhwa. Uh, it's called True Beauty. It's pretty popular. Oh, I thought you heard uh, of that. Lots. That sounds familiar. Uh, and, like, you know, it's just beautiful Korean girls, beautiful Korean guys. I see the guys wearing shit like this. <laughs> and it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's Asian That's Asian fashion. Like, this, this is Asian hype. Was This is Asian hype wear or hype beast wear? Whatever. whatever. Hype beast wear. I mean, well, no, they're... The people that, I think the people the people are called hype beasts, and this is hype wear. You know, here's your casual, casual Asian dude out in the wild, in the sun, playing Pokemon Go. Uh, yeah, that's that's what it looks like. So, yeah, just search search up uh uh audio. Well, you're only audio listener. Yeah. Um, search up fucking tech wear, tech wear, hype beast wear, shit like that. You'll you'll. You'll see what we're talking about. I mean, it, it don't again. Don't get me wrong. It's cool. I like it. Though I'm not a fan of the saggy like mid, the saggy the uh, harm groin, pants. The harm <laughs> Harlem. No. So like, if they were actually Harlem pants, I'm like that's fine. They're big, poofy, 
all like that. But those, I don't know. It, it, it looks weird. It makes me feel like you're trying to Justin Bieber, and we're not about that. So you're sagging, but you're not sagging. Right. You're 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 a phony. <laughs> That's what it looks like. The only the only thing is too about the fucking tech wars. They're the, they're, I feel like they're the ones that pioneered the fucking sock shoes, like the shoes with the fucking. Um, Ninjas pioneered sock shoes, Joe Mel. Come on. Well, I'm talking about these kind of shoes. The ones with like uh, the brim of the shoe has like a fucking. It looks like a sock at the at the tip of it, or at the end of it, or the entrance part of the shoe. Oh yeah, I get you. I don't know what they're called. I don't know what the I don't know what the entrance part of the shoe is called. Socks. Saga Hagen. That's what it's called. Yeah. I don't know. I ain't in a fashion show, man. I just wear the same three fucking bits of clothes every day. And that's why you're no hype beast, fam. Mm. You're gonna be like this yeah, guy. Cause... Just, just, just wear extra flooded sh- uh, pants. Oh, God. Look, and... I don't need to fucking spend six billion dollars on a one thread of a pe- pair of pants. All right. <laughs> you're I'm talking about perfectly a perfectly fine. Perfectly fine wearing my shitty ass hoodie, my shitty ass jacket, and my shitty ass pants. But Jerron, you could be wearing capes. You could be wearing. Mm. Actually, is this a cape? I don't think this is a cape. It's like a. Mm. Cape. It's like he, mm. he tried to wear a cape, but then he kind of stopped halfway. Or he stopped in the middle of putting on a jacket. A half cape. A half cape? Oh. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I love it. Probably it's a jacket. It's a, it's part of a jacket. Ah, that's that's ooh, we're 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 ascending. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> that's ascending. You're, you're ascending to the next level. Oh my god! Then you get well, it, it, yeah, that's true because it doubles as a fucking face mask too. Face mask yeah, are also a big thing. You are fucking be. You're becoming a fucking Final Fantasy character, and you know it. <laughs> Like, there's no, it's like, ah, oh, you look like Final Fantasy characters. Like, you don't even know fashion. You're such a loser. All right, but I'm not the one with a fucking face mag- mask and cape. Like, exactly. Like, are you some sort like, of Final Fantasy character? Like, what's Final Fantasy? Like, right. I am, like, I'm living in the, I'm living in the now, son. Like, you gotta be decked out like this guy, dude. Like, there we go. I don't even know what the fuck he's wearing in his face, but. He's got <sighs> the man bun and everything. He's got the straps. He's got the grays. He's got. His shirt is like overhanging in the front in a weird fucking way, or is that a bag? I can't. People are wearing flak. Ve- yeah, flak vests are becoming a thing now too. Oh, that a, oh, a flak vest is essentially one of them. Um, what is it called? One of them flotation devices. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a flak vest. That's what they are. Like I said, as as uh, I, I I don't know if I said it beforehand, but as humanity evolves, we just become more and more. Anime is just gonna happen. Is that or one 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 of the countries is gonna? Oh my god! Well, you're right about spending the kind of money because apparently, a fully decked out tech wear outfit is costs about two thousand dollars. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> oh um, my god. I mean, John. Yeah. Wh- wait, what, shit. What, what were we talking about initially? What were we talking about fucking Genji? We were talking about Genji, and then we ended up going. You know, see, we ended up going this route. You know, Whoa. this can be you and me, John. <laughs> you and Whoa. me. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, Yikes. God. This guy to the left is awful. <laughs> He's is it, awful. Is it the gray hair? Is it because of the gray uh, hair? It's the gray hair. Ah! <laughs> I, where's the razor blade? I need to eat him. <laughs> like, if your edge years could be materialized into <sighs> people, it would be one of these two. Or both. I don't <sighs> fucking know. I don't like that. Anyway, we're fucking we're we're sidetracking hard as hell. What were we, Genji, Overwatch two, uh So yeah, there's PV. There's uh, blah, 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 blah. there's now gonna be more PVE. It's gonna look better. More characters. Uh, I mean, I guess there's not much else going on with it. Buy it if you want. I probably will after like two or three years after it comes out. Cause <laughs> like 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 the first Overwatch. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll, you'll buy it and then I'll play it at your house. Oh yeah, you'll then... build a, you'll build a whole fucking profile on my account and then not and then just not play it at your house because you don't have yep. it. Well, the thing is, John, you have to get here first. You got to come back to Illinois at a certain point. <laughs> That's true. So, That's fucking true. 
But you know, um, you know what else is fucking weird though, or what? gonna be fucking weird. Death Stranding. Death Stranding. I, I need to talk about this game. Well, I need to. We need. I need to talk about it because I ha- I know so little about it. I've been try. I know like there's there's been more there's been reviews. There's a whole like review reviews that have been coming out with it. I personally don't think any of these reviews have a good um, hold of what Kojima is trying to pull off. Well, so I think I think so. I mean, we've seen gameplay. We get the base of it. it you're delivering shit. You go around with your thick ass self you just mm-hmm. collect shit wait you're get of, your jet boots and you run around and yeah, you deliver you're, you're walking around america and trying to make america great again you know all that yeah shit. there you go right exactly um did you watch that eight minute trailer that they released of death strand i think i did this was a while ago right no no this is like a couple of days ago a few days ago they, oh they're... i guess i did not then yeah the newest trailer they had it, i didn't realize how long it was because i was watching it and i'm like god damn how long is this trailer it, it they pull out they put out a death stranding tra- trailer for that that lasted eight minutes a whole last eight minutes i'm like how, when this is over they just kept playing more and more shit like apparently conan I mean, is in it now you, you get you get conan? A fucking, yeah like um conan the the talk show host yeah, I know. Like, why? <laughs> I I still I, I feel like I feel like even when the game comes out and you know years down the line, people are like, "What the fuck? I'm like, what's going on? Like, there no one no <laughs> one talked about any kind of story. We tried to make America great again, and mm. there were ghosts. Like, that's it. Ghosts, babies, Guillermo del Toro, all that good shit. You know, right? They even had a fucking Rick and Morty. Yeah, um, <laughs> I saw that. Like, wow, like. Like Kojima sort of like the Sakurai in this kind of scenario, at least he I, right. I, he's, he's just kind of going with the fucking flow, and I don't think he really cares if this game is gonna like you know flop or not. It's more so like I mean no 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 yeah he is because it's his first so? uh it's the first one for his company. Yeah, I mean I think I feel like this is like a big passion project of his. I kind of like like this is a snippet of his mind, and he wants to share that with us, regardless if it you know. If, if if it becomes like a you know um like a what is it a um game of the year kind of thing you know I f- kind of hope it becomes game of the year because I mean it'd be interesting like, if it did I I I genuinely hope it's like interesting enough because like just based on gameplay I was like yeah it seems like it has a pretty decent um a pretty decent uh like approach approach to how the game plays Mm -hmm. which is fine and dandy i'm just hoping that it carries it it carries it enough i think so my only issue is like i don't know how long i'm supposed to spend time with it because apparently there's been a out of all the bunch of reviews so far there's been a whole different range of like how long and what you're supposed to be doing i mean i get it this this whole thing this this kojima game it it it's Mm -hmm. definitely a kojima game and you're definitely playing for the experience and apparently, oh excuse me, there's been a bunch of reviews about it. How like people have saying like, oh this is not you know this is you know no more than thirty hours. And there's people saying that oh it's too damn long. I spent over a hundred hours trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. And it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's those it, aren't the true gamers. It, it ranges a lot because however long you want to put yourself to the experience determines how long you want to play the game. It's kind of like the game kind of gives you all this, and you kind of just use whatever you got and determine how long you want to really invest in it. So it's really all up to you. I'd kind of hope that it was like, um, um, yeah, I'd kind of hope it was kind of like, oh, fuck, I, I just completely brain farted. Oh, like like a game where like, you can beat in like the first hour. Oh, right. Like if you, if you just know how to do it, you could just beat it in the first hour. Right. I mean, you'll, you'll get a weird ending, but you can. Mm-hmm. Like, that'd be cool. Like the end, like your quote unquote endings can be at any number of like uh, times in a sense. Um, I mean, I feel like this is a good start in terms of uh, what is it, Kojima Productions and all that. You mm-hmm. know, it's definitely giving me like um, I feel like this is gonna be one of those cult classics, kind of like the near franchise or even mm-hmm. Dra- uh, what's it, Dragon Age or no? Um, what branched off from near? But point is, I feel like this would be one of those obscure uh, series that are like off from there. Yeah, like there's a whole other game series 
that branches into the fucking near timeline. Oh, uh, look, let's 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 not I, look. I I fell down that rabbit hole and I regret it. There's a lot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I kind of want that to come out of Death Stranding and the more games he pulls out of that <sighs> man's mind, you know. No. <laughs> no. I need that in my life, you know. And if somehow, if he, if he, again, I've said this multiple times in multiple different podcasts. If he ever partners up with like uh, Yoko Taro in making any kind of game in the future, uh, oof! My my body, my soul, and my fucking heart will be ready and not ready at the same time. I'm pro- I'll uh, probably be in some sort of exist exist existential distraught. Ex- existential. Existential distraught after I'm pl- after I'm playing any game made by those two together. I mean that would be amazing, but God, mm-hmm. God, <laughs> it's gonna I don't, happen. I, to see, because see, here's the thing: both of them, both of those mother. Okay, I guess uh, uh, Yoko Taro is a bit more forward with it. Like, yeah, I just like fucking beautiful women. Yeah. Uh, fucking Kojima's like on the down low with it. It's like she's got to breathe through her skin. That's why she's in a bikini. Exactly. You like, like babies, sense. you know? <laughs> it kind of just. Oh, it's just no. I I don't think. <laughs> I don't think the world could be ready for whatever the fuck they'd they'd be trying to give you. A Yoko Taro Kojima game. <laughs> like I, I'm interested, but like that's that's scary. That's like genuinely like look at fucking Yoko Taro's most recent game, Near. That game is a I mean, I, I uh, it's it's no short of a just like you said, an existential existential bullshit. Like mm-hmm. it's like, oh humanity die well, I guess spoilers for the game. Um, if you haven't played it, go fuck yourself. Mm. Uh, no, I'm sorry. But uh, go play the game regardless of the spoilers. Uh, you know, humanity's actually died years ago, but us robots or cyborgs or whatever we are um, nice. have continued to thrive. Mm-hmm. This is meaningless war between androids and robots. What is it all for? You, you know? have no reason to... Fucking, we had we actually had no reason to continue existing. We're just here. Us, what does it mean? Together. What does it mean to exist? What does it mean to exist as a robot? I just want I just want to start a life, make a family. You know, Pascal, her whole fucking thing. God damn. Ugh. I I I need a partner. I need a partner game between Yoko Taro and Kojima. You hear that, Kojima Productions? I hope you're listening, Kojima. I know you're into weird shit. And Yoko Taro, I know you like shit. Let's make this happen. Come on. Like, it can it can be a game that lasts one hour. As long as it can crush me, both mentally and emotionally, you've done it. Oh, it will. <laughs> if it can do so in an hour. Hell, even a demo. Goddamn. You'll... <laughs> I don't know. Thinking, I mean, about, thinking about it is making my head hurt. <laughs> Just trying to think of what they would even do. I mean, I, I mean, because they are they're already both uh, really fucky. So yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. If, we'll we'll see. We'll see if God is will allow that level of BS in our in our lives. Right. And it's like it's like taking two different kinds of drugs at the same time. That's what it is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> or mixing but, drugs. Um, yeah. I I so just like looking at the just the general gameplay mm-hmm. of it from beforehand. I just I don't I get it what you're doing, but I don't understand what the point is. You know, like why why the why the delivery man service? No, I mean no. Like, like so they explained it before. You're giving these different settlements items from whoever the shadow organization is. Yeah. And to then, um, you're also look, you're also looking for your friend or the president, right? The lady, uh, lady president. No, she's she's got cancer. She's in the. Wait, is she alive? Or she's, she wait, is she alive or is she? Uh, I'm who, pretty sure she's alive. Isn't then she? Who's the lady she's, in red? I don't I look. Lady I don't in red. Know, dude. <laughs> right. Yeah, isn't the lady um, in red the president or no? I, no, I, the the cancer lady is the president. Oh, she's the president. Who's the lady in red? Like her, like the the one who knows Norman Reedus. Oh, uh, um, that's the, the she's the girl that ate the slug thing, right? What slug thing? 
So if I remember correctly, one of the trailers, uh -huh. she had like eat like she was like standing there, you were zooming in on her face, and she just ate a slug, or a, she or a little baby or something. Right. I don't know. I get I get and... watch some of these trailers. Yeah, uh, look, I don't. <laughs> well, then again, I don't know. If I don't know. Work, but because I because I know she's captured. She because you're part of part of your mission is not only to make Omega great again, but you're also gonna. Find her out on the west coast or something. Reunite. Mm -hmm. You reunite with her, you know, after you stick all your USB sticks into all the, the places. Right. Of course. And then... And make also... sure you don't get your age sucked out of you by a ghost. Yeah. Or the homo demons. Or, or the homo demons. Oh, no, that is what they were called, weren't they? Yeah, oh, that's one of the, that's one of the groups that, that rebelled against the whole thing. The homo demon. <laughs> I just imagine like him from Powerpuff Girls, just oh. coming at you. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. He's he's got like a the whole fuck? he's got a whole thing going on there. The homo demon. Fuck. Yeah, because oh, no, the, yeah. the guy uh, with the gold mask. Thing. The guy with the gold mask is part of the homo demons too, right? Gold ah. mask cat dude. You can like water bend the black shit. Ah, uh, fucking guess. Like I said, I couldn't fucking tell you. I, I barely followed the story of whatever was going on. I just know <laughs> there's like three different worlds. One's limbo. Wait, what? Or what's two different third? worlds. There's the overworld, oh, okay. and limbo, where it's World War Two all the time. Yeah, or is I thought the, or is that when it was time traveling? Like that's like a vision from like the past. Ah, I from what I heard, the reason why the other world is World War Two is because it's supposed to represent the worst time in um in like history. Humanity? Just in humanity's history. So, so they it... just said it's World War Two all the time. Okay, so it's just really shitty in that other realm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. it's just super shitty. War never changes. Even War in different dimensions. Changes. I'm the wanderer. I'm the yeah. Uh, but yeah, a Death Strand is gonna be fun. It's coming out on Friday. Uh, I, I, I want or... I want to buy it on release, but like I don't have any money. That's okay. I'll buy it for you, and then should I play it high or no or sober? Yes, you should definitely play it high. Play it high. Because I, mm -hmm. like I, I feel like I feel like I'd understand it better if I was playing it high, not thinking about it as I'm going. Oh, you know, just going with the flow, you know. I mean, I don't know. You might die. Maybe you'll fucking like have a, vision. Have a revelation, <laughs> a vision like, uh, and then you're like, I know what Kojima's thinking. <laughs> I can see the babies. I know what the babies are, Duran. The just babies show up in the podcast next week and like, I know what the baby symbolizes. Guillermo del Toro has been right all along. Norman Reedus is inside all of us. Right. <laughs> Kojima's God. He always was. That's how he gets you. I'm also sort of hoping uh, for a Kojima uh, cameo since he's adding. Everyone. Oh, he, he's going to, you know, he's going to put his <laughs> fucking face in that damn game. You know, he is. He's going to be like the last boss. He's going to turn into a weird fucking ghost tentacle monster and he's gonna eat your ass like come on now oh no you know he's a baby that you've been carrying this entire time the baby uh, just morphs into fucking kojima uh, <laughs> kill me thank you for playing my game and it just starts morphing like ah, ah, and <laughs> just goes fucking haywire i you know what <laughs> <laughs> At that point in time, you just turn off and you just like, I need this game to end right now. <laughs> this very moment. Kojima, I'm done with your bullshit. No, no you know more. What, no, you know what that means? It's, not, it's, time for another, it's time for another blunt. I'm smoking up again. <laughs> I need right. another hit. I need two more hits to fucking process this. Cause I just I'm not high it. enough for this. Because <laughs> obviously Kojima was when he made this fucking game. <laughs> Dude, when is he not? Let's be honest. Genius is uninhibited potential. That's right. This is why That's Konami right. couldn't handle him. They just couldn't. They couldn't take all that baby and keep it inside the pod. It had to burst 
and make Death Stranding. It had to be there. And then now we got some weird shit going on. Yeah. I feel like Norman Reedus but, had no idea what he was signing up for. Because... Oh, no, he knew. Ever since, you know, they were doing the PT shit, he was like, yeah, you know, well, I'm Norman Reedus. PT is a little bit more easy to, like, you know, understand, you know, What's ghost, it weird shit. That's sort of, you get you get it. And plus, there's a there's a history of franchise behind it. I don't know what Death Stranding is trying to, like, root itself from. It's trying to say, like, hey, you know, I'm, you know, babies, you know, abortion. That's the whole thing. It's abortion. <laughs> it's abortion. That's yep. it. The whole baby in the... Ko- uh, Kojima uh, got some woman pregnant. And mm-hmm. that he had a whole thing with it. And now he's like, all right, I have to tell my story, but I can't let it out because I don't want people to know that I have an illegitimate ba- baby or if that was aborted. And he's like, I'm going to make a game about it. But it's going to be, you know, World War II represents my life during that time. But that's only when I died or sunk under, you know, shit like that. And then Norman Reedus represents, uh, rep- represents his goodwill as it, traverses both the 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 light and the dark realm of his own psyche and he's carrying the baby around because the the baby represents kojima's responsibility to the child but uh the the other guy what's his name the one with the fake baby um oh oh fuck i, don't, I forget his name he's a really what's black his name? Too. uh i don't remember but I think he played... Did he play Hannibal at some point? Uh, Hannibal Lecter? Like... Like, yeah, Hannibal Lecter. Oh, you mean... Oh, in, hold on. in some show? I looked it up. Uh, Mad, Mads Mc, McKelson. McKelson? Yeah. Mag, Mag, Mr. Mads. His fake baby represents... Uh, the... The the if 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 Kojima doesn't raise his child, it's gonna become a shell of what it could be. So what does Guillermo del Toro represent? G- Guillermo del Toro rep- is is Kojima clinging on to the baby because uh he because it's making him lose his mind, which is why Guillermo del Toro doesn't have a brain. I think because you know his his head stitched. If you notice, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like. He's, right. I think he doesn't have a brain or something. So Kojima's losing his mind as he tries to cling to this baby. That's all it looked like Yael Dortormo was doing. And who are the homo demons then? The homo demons is Kojima's inner homoerotic. Asphyxiation. Uh, <laughs> Asphyxiation. That's why he has such an issue with this woman, because he's actually gay, but he didn't want to get her pregnant, and it just kind of happened because... He was drunk. From, he was drunk. That's what represents the 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 ghost. That's alcohol. That's why it ages you so fast, and it's all liquidy. So because of the, he drank too much, he got a girl pregnant, and now he's he he's tearing himself between raising this child, or 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 letting them go to lead a shell of its life, you know, or. To have it aborted and sent to World War Two. You know, Jaron, if the if you told me that was the interpretation, I would believe you one hundred percent. Because just looking just looking at the the names of the characters th- <laughs> themselves, I feel like yours has more legitimacy because I don't know what the I don't know what the actual game is gonna unfold into, and I'm sort of scared. <laughs> have you actually looked at the the character names? No. Okay. Well. Norman Reedus, he's Sam. Guillermo del Toro, uh-huh. he's his name is Dead Man. Right, right, right. Um, because he doesn't have a brain. Yeah. Uh, Lady in Red, that's Emily, spelled with an A. Uh, Emily. One of the ho- yeah, M- A- M- Emily, but A M A M E L I E, like the most pff, convoluted way to spell Emily. Um, one of the homo demons, Higgs. There's a woman here named Mama. Our mad, <laughs> our boy mad. His name's Cliff, the, maybe uh-huh. the cliffhanger. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there's a woman here named Fragile, uh, Hartman. And oh yeah, no. This is this is all metaphors for his fucking his fucking his illegitimate child. It has to be. And then our 
our our our um black faced skull character that helped the, that talked to Norman Reedus in the beginning. His name is Die Hard Man. Mm hmm. Me too, Die Hard Man. <laughs> so, just by the character names, you can tell I have I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a good time trying to just yeah I'm definitely gonna play this high. There's no way I can I'm gonna try to interpret this sober at all. I, I I swear to God, if I'm right, I'm a, I'm a, that I, <laughs> he better pay me like a hundred dollars. Abortion. <laughs> that's that's the whole fucking theme. Or maybe not a hundred dollars. That's a little low. Now that I think about it, just Whoa. give me like give me like a million dollars. Just a million? No, no. Hundred thousand. I'll be satisfied with that. You'll be you'll be satisfied. What what if Kojima yeah. paid you? In a pro- in the exact prosthetic baby doll that Norman Reedus. I wouldn't want with. that shit. I don't want that fucking. Is it, same... No, isn't that a part of the? Uh, isn't that a part of the pre-order? Is the you get a baby? Yeah, I think. <laughs> <you're> a... <laughs> what is this? <laughs> well, this this is what you call motion capture. <laughs> <laughs> so it's fucking Norman Reedus and mocap clinging onto this fucking baby doll. It's like, oh my child. <laughs> I think Kojima's like next to him saying, "Yes, it's all come together." <laughs> <laughs> this guy with his ar- his ar- his arms behind his back is like, "I don't know about this, Kojima. <laughs> I don't know about this." This Reed is just like, "Huh." <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "Yes, I'm a genius. It's all come together. I this, can see this my baby, vision. It, it's all in the baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's always been about the baby. It's always the fir- been the first images of anything in this game was that baby. That well." Norman Reed is holding a holding a baby, and the reason why it's in your throat and is in your throat too is because that represents your inner child because he doesn't want to be tied down to a baby. Like being an adult, you gonna say? Yes, yes. That, so his inner child is like, yeah, thumbs up, do what you got to do, fam. And the bonds that they keep talking about is the bonds he has to uh all right my brain shut up it's over <laughs> it's okay i'm done <laughs> and to answer, to answer your question yes there is a collector's edition that includes a bb pod that's the baby pod uh, God. in the package so yeah it is a bb pod i don't know i don't i don't know how wait oh no it's life put your actual child on there it's life size yeah. i didn't know put your was... actual baby in there <laughs> I didn't know it was life size. I'm looking. I'm seeing a fucking picture of Kojima holding the fucking collector, like BB Pod from the collector's edition. That is huge. Wow. You can have your own baby pod, BB BB yeah. Pod. Oh yeah, you know you definitely have to put your own baby in there. I mean, and you know, there's some people are going to do that. You're gonna see some fucking Twitter, Instagram. Motherfuckers like, oh, look, my baby's the baby. We put her in the pod. Ha ha. Look how funny we are. Ha ha. I mean, imagine the fucking cosplay. It's going to be intense. Oh, yeah. You know, as they're just literally cut. Co- so, you know what? You know what this game is? This, what? You know what this game represents? What? I mean, okay. Outside of the whole baby thing. When Norman Reedus is running around delivering shit. Right. It's a video game version of taking one trip to get everything out of the car and get it to the house. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot of load to carry <laughs> in that fucking trip. In that one trip. I mean, think about it. Besides so, the baby, that's a lot. Well, yeah, because you you got the baby. You right. got all the shit that you can carry on your actual person. You got the, your little robot crates that follow you around. Right. You got your suitcases and all that shit. You got your jet boots to help you run faster. You got a whole bunch of shit just to help you carry more. That's the whole game. That's the whole idea behind the mechanics. I've, I've solved it. I've got it. It's you got over. it. Like you, you've you've cracked Kojima. Yep. Like Kojima was a serial killer in his past life. Like he was, he was on some shit. Like he he was descended from like a fucking wacko. Or maybe this is his maybe maybe this is his creative way of admitting of his crimes that he has right. now. You know, I want to go back to this podcast after I play the game and see how how far we are in terms of 
trying to interpret this. I feel like I'm right. I feel like I'm 100% right. I you know what? I'm not going to I'm not going to fault you cuz you can go either way at this point. It's just it's and just too it's too too it's too was it likely? Unlikely? I don't know. Um it's there's too many open possibilities to right. keep uh to narrow anything down, right? Right. So no, oh, speaking of Kojima Productions as well. Apparently Kojima Kojima plans to make on un- plans to make movies in the future. Oh yeah, I did hear about that. So I'm um, trippy ass movie movie theater trips in the future. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. Definitely. That's probably what he was really going with uh Death Stranding. He wanted to make it super cinematic. Oh no, yeah, definitely. I mean this is definitely story first and then game second, you know. Mm-hmm. But not in a at least not in a boring or convoluted way like he's put thought I don't know it's pretty convoluted there's fucking babies <laughs> I mean he's put some thought in the babies John like th- there's some thought into this even if it's not um tangible or um interpreted or interpretable in some way I'd also respect him if he just made this game with like a whole bunch of un, un- like unconnecting plot lines and it's just like here's the game go and as you try to figure shit out, there's nothing to figure out. It's just a bunch of bullshit. It's like, yeah, you know what would be weird? But yeah, you, you're hooked up to babies, and like they let you see ghosts through this little blinker hand on your on your arm. You get touched by the ghosts; they suck your fucking age, and you go to World War Two anytime you die. So he's just trying. Like, to fuck yeah, with that us. sounds great. Yeah, he's just fucking with everybody. He's like, like fuck <laughs> you, Konami. I'll do what I want, and he did what he wanted. <laughs> But we're fucking we're fucking masochistic. Then if we're allowing this to happen, because we fucking, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm all I'm my asshole's open for this. Because if he wants to fuck with me, sure. And he's definitely oh, not he going will. in. He he's not using normal lube. He's using baby lube. But at least he's being considerate. <laughs> baby lube. Ah. Uh, Friday cannot come closer. Nope. <laughs> Baby lube. <laughs> you heard it here first. I don't know. I'll, I'm, I'm, I might fucking, I might fucking buy it. I'm feeling it. You're feeling it. I mean, I'm feeling it. We, we've, we've never really strayed away from it, even when it, it was first announced. What last year? True. Right, so, right, right. No, it was, no, it was announced like two, three years ago. It had was to be. it? Oh. Yeah, I feel like I've been. Ooh. Like five Sorry, everybody. Uh, following this for a while, it had to have been a couple years or so. Cause I only remember the one announcement from like last year's E3 or something, or the the Sony uh, conference, or was it Sony's? Um, what do they have? PlayStation Now or something? Or with their own their own little E3? Uh fuck! What was it called? Yeah, I mean, I, don't, I know the they Sony, had their own thing. the Sony Bony. That's what it was. The Sony, Sony Bony. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's probably the last time I like. It was like last year though. But, you know, it could have been in years in development. I mean, you need the years of development to even try oh, yeah, to yeah. sell sell this. And I think only Kojima can only pull something off like this either. Mm-hmm. Yes, I mean, he'd be the only person that would tell me, like, so you got a baby, and you're Norman Reedus. All right. Um, and you're also a delivery man. So mm-hmm. that's what you got to work with. Now, I'm like, you know what? Yeah, Now, sure. watch out for the ghosts. And the the bad men in yellow, mm-hmm. and the bad men with golden masks, and the homo demons. Right. Now are they all the same person. Good luck. Um. And make America great again. There you go. That's that's the game. Or 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 maybe this is an entire allegory for America, and the, and Kojima is getting uh, topical. I believe it. <laughs> oh you know. shit! You know, know. babies, abortion, make America great again. Can- cancerous president. Homo Think about demons. It. Homo demons. Maybe he's homophobic, or maybe he's commenting on everybody being homophobic. Oh, you know, the, girls or... eating slugs. You know, maybe I don't fucking. Um. The uh delivery. Make a connect. The one thing was uh, connecting everybody. Maybe you know the the whole thing's about you know everyone's 
always on their phones phones and boomers are laughing at millennials because they're always looking at their phones you know right maybe kojima's just a step of the head a step ahead in the meme game I don't know. He's living in he's living in the year three thousand at this point. I don't. Fucking he's he's know. he's been in the year three thousand. Like, there's no fucking that man has fucking ascended well past humanity. I need to for a smoke. long time. I need to ingest. I need to inhale anything that this man is having because he's 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 onto something. He's definitely onto something, and I want in. Sucking want, that good herb. If if he convinced Norman Reedus to mocap with a plastic baby, he's definitely on some sort of genius genius herb and the thing is like all these people came to him like all these famous people just came well okay i don't know if they came to him like hey let me be in the thing but like you can you you can't just say hey gerald ortormo come join my game and expect him to say yes that's true you know you don't have you, you need to have that kind of leverage that kind of kojima influence to just be able to have all these people on in your game Right, and they stuck around, so there's something there. Yeah. I don't know. I'm 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 kind of intimidated. <laughs> really? But I'm, I I feel like I'm ready. I got to make sure I avoid uh watching any like clips on YouTube cuz I, I mean, so I'm let's be I'm in a here. spot where I what? I don't Do you really think anyone has any kind of information that could possibly um, spoil anything in terms of how to play the game. Uh, you never know. Well, well, that's the thing. We 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 can't know what's we don't know what's real or not. Is this the real? Is it like one person? Because I don't know. I don't I probably no one really finished the game. Let's be honest mm-hmm. here. Unless you're unless you're you know actively following the game itself. But I feel like this is one of those like it'll end in how you want it to end. So. Mm-hmm. It's again. It's all left open for interpretation in terms of like how you want to play it. So, mm-hmm. like one one person's playthroughs could probably be completely different from another person's playthrough or your playthrough. So, I think is I just I avoid. Hope so. I think I just avoid any kind of like review videos in general. Mm-hmm. You know, just so that you know, yeah, they, don't, they, they, they don't talk about mechanics and whatnot. Right. So I will I will say another game that uh came out. What was it? Relatively recent? I think it maybe a week ago, two weeks ago. Um, Outer Worlds came out, and that oh, yeah. came out with pretty uh, great success. Oh yeah, they're what people talking about it. How Fallout? This is how Fallout should have evolved into something like that. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a game that I'm probably gonna. I want to get. <sighs> Fuck me. Ugh, because one of my friends uh, bought it. He's been fucking hyped as shit about it. Has he been playing nonstop? So, I'm... Yeah, so I'm pretty I'm pretty interested in it. You gonna get it on PC, PS4, Xbox. Um, oh, I'm definitely be gonna be getting it on PS4. My computer can't fucking handle any game that's not fucking <laughs> like either hella optimized or fucking made with 2005 graphics. Right. I can play porn games though. That's fine. Mm. I've been playing this game called Breeders of Nephilim. Ooh, what? Judge me how you want. I don't even know how to judge you at this point in this. Yeah, okay. you're gonna judge me bad. Are you about to send me screenshots of you fucking these girls again? No, I decided that the game's odd enough that I'm not going to send any pictures to anybody. No, oh. oh, okay. That sounds that sounds disur- that sounds uh um disturbing. Uh, oh, I mean, well, when you're when you've been around the the anime community and the hentai community long enough. What's in there isn't terribly weird. Mm-hmm. It's like it's a very, very honest game. It's you, you are the breeder. You're, you either play as a man, a girl, or a girl with a dick, mm-hmm. and you go around and you breed uh, these monster people, from dragon people to cow people to slime people, orcs. Furries, unfortunately. Uh, goblins, harpies, demons. Homo demons? Homo demons. Yeah, there are homo demons. <laughs> um, bunch of shit. You, 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 you go out in their environment. They come at you. They 
hit you with that surprise sex, and then you capture them, and then you make them do stuff at your farm. You can also extract liquid from them to sell at the, <laughs> at the nearby market. God damn, what kind of slave ship are you running here? <laughs> no, they all enjoy it. Because apparently Nephilim... Well, there is a... In, Stockholm Syndrome what? is a thing, so, you know. Well, no, 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 because, no. <laughs> see, they came at you first. Oh, okay. Well, on you first, whichever. <laughs> yeah, I was about to ask, like, is, is this figuratively <laughs> or, or, are we, or are we talking, like, literally here? <laughs> I mean, you gotta have you have to beat them at their own game, and then once you beat them off, you can make them go to your farm, and then you can make them breed with any other species you want, and you can create half breeds. So you can make mm. like a dragon slime girl, or you can make a how does that even work? A dragon. Slime I girl. don't know. Yeah, you, you make a dragon fuck a slime a lot, and it might work. All right, that that there we go. You want a cow? You want a cow? Titan, rock titan? Sure, fuck Ka-chow. it. Uh, Kachow. You want a fucking goblin giant? I don't know how that works. You want an angel demon, I guess? You want a fucking edgy-ass character? Do it. Do what Wait, you gotta do, fam. Is this is this game free? Yep. As well? is it, <laughs> it on sure Steam? is. Should we yep. link them? Should we link no, them? No, we can't. We can't. Then YouTube's gonna get angry. Uh, okay. What is it called? For for those of you who are above the age of eighteen and you know of age, what is this game called, mm-hmm. John? It's called Breeders of Nephilim. Just type in Breeders of on Steam and you'll find it. Yeah, there you go. It's a quaint little game. Uh, wholesome in its ideals. You're the first human on this island of Nephilim, and they all want your whatever genitals you have. They want your PP. Yep. And everything else in between that. Yep. So I I, I had a lot of fun with it. I'm, but... sh- I'm sure you did. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like it's legit. Like like once so once you get past the whole sexy part of it, it's like oh this is like this is a numbers game. It's like I gotta I gotta make the best because you know you either <laughs> one you're the I guess one and two you extract fluids from your uh and what I don't know what you want to call it, your nephilim um and you sell that on the market or you level them up enough to sell to God to get more currency and you're trying to make the most ass like the most the 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 you're trying to make your own waifu, so you have to breed her perfectly. Like you have to find all the best traits and all the, because like there's random traits. For example, like like some are strong, some are weak, some have more exaggerated body parts than the rest of their ilk. Some are like, some are kind-hearted, some are sadistic. Like you have to breed out the specific traits that you want for your waifu, right? And <laughs> I hate this. I hate this so much. Why am I explaining this? No, I'm you're tired. On, Leave me alone. You're on, you're on records. Okay. <laughs> it's a it's a fun little game. Every, every everyone. It's all it's all fun and it's all good time. You know, like I said, it's a numbers game. You're just trying to. It's Pokemon, but with cities. There you go. You know, John. We should you should try to explain that game to like someone's grandmother. Ah, oh, God, that'd be fucking. I'd rather die. <laughs> You'd rather explain Death Stranding to somebody's grandmother? Yeah, I can see you can... I, the Kojima, the babies, the, the, the abortion, yeah, I can do all that. It's easy. <laughs> it 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 makes the content for itself, you know? <laughs> but Breeze and Nephilim, you're just sitting there like, yeah, this is a... You know, on the surface, you're just collecting animals. And like, Oh, I used to have a farm, too. Like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Did you fuck your goat? <laughs> what? <laughs> like... <laughs> This is probably why you don't have your family on this <laughs> podcast. Don't do your own. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. What were we talking about before we got to this topic? Speaking of furries. Speaking of furries. <laughs> uh, 
So, Beastars is a good anime, and I hate it. That's all I have to say. <laughs> that's that's all I'm going to say. I put myself in the hole. And you're not going to come it, back out? Every, I can't come back out. It's fucking, It's a good anime. It's very well directed. Every fucking moment has me fucking like on the edge of my seat. It's just, mm. I hate that they're animals. <laughs> no, it's cool that they're animals. Because it plays on the whole, you know, predator play thing. I'm, I'm pretty sure I explained this in the yeah. last episode or whatever. And that's cool. But, like, the characterizations of, like, for example, the the deer guy, like, he's so fucking cool. He's like, I'm the best actor in the world. I'm going to fucking show what? everybody that I, or that I, or what? Hmm? You said cock? What? No, I said fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's like, I'm a, I'm a, I might be an herbivore. But I'm a show that I can be just as fierce as any carnivore, but, you know, on stage, because it's all about uh, drama the club theater. And all that, right? Drama club, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but he, like, he's super confident. He's like, he, you know, people explain him like he's, you know, a top notch actor. He knows how to control his gaze and his, his voice to send a message. And it's like, yeah, this guy, like, he carries himself like a, such a fucking asshole. Like, he is oh. arrogant as fuck, but he can back it up. He's He's got bark to his bite i'm like god he's i hate him but he's so cool or bite to his bark i think that's the his expression. bite to his bark he fucking bro- damn near broke his goddamn ankle but it's like no i'm gonna act this is all riding on me i have to show them what i can do and he did his entire performance perfectly and then pass out to the end of his performance i'm like dude that's fucking hardcore <laughs> i don't care what you say about this dude he is dedicated i love him he is so cool as much of a dick he is <laughs> And then there's a fucking bunny, and she fucking tried to. She tried to. Did I catch you on on something? No, I said there's there's his character. He's really cool. The main character is pretty cool. Like or he's dude? gonna become cooler. The wolf dude. He's gonna become a lot cooler. I can tell because he's got a lot of intricacies to his personality that uh, the stag guy recognizes, uh-huh. or the 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 deer guy recognizes. And then there's fucking bunny girl that fucking sleeps with everybody. It's like, yeah, it's fine you sleep with everybody, but like, what if we didn't have a character that did that in a furry anime? How about that? <laughs> what if you just like, I don't know. Well, wait, did she literally sleep with them, or did, like, like? Yeah, she literally sleeps with pretty much anyone that asks. Or no, no, in terms whatever. of whatever, like, like sleeping isn't like literal, literal. She, they fuck. They, oh, they oh, fuck. Oh, okay. And it makes me upset. <laughs> It genuine like he so they're having a situation so so you know spoilers for episode three of the anime or episode two into three so he's like they're like oh we need roses from the gardening club go ask that rabbit and everyone knows the rumors except for our wolf our wolf dude so uh um, mr ant eater kun that was with him was like hey i'm gonna go go do this thing so i'm gonna leave you alone with the rabbit because i don't want to be taken advantage of by her or something because everyone thinks she's a slut whatever mm. so wolf guy's like oh no this is awkward i tried to eat her like two nights ago this is real awkward oh thank god she thought it was a bad dream uh like literally eat her like she fuck he fucking yeah, looked yeah. Went straight wolf on her and yeah. um well you know they start having this conversation and it's like hey you know okay sure i'll give you the roses even though they're my babies if you help around the farm it's well the garden yeah the garden so he's like yeah you know i'll do it you know he's doing this stuff it goes and does all that stuff and it's great and it's like yeah okay maybe they're gonna form a little cute romance and like all right sure you know whatever mm-hmm. it's weird but you know as long as nothing weird happens but then something weird happens <laughs> fucking he's he's like inner he's like so his whole thing he's got like a he always has an inner monologue mm-hmm. trying to discuss to himself what he what course of action he should take it's like everyone with anxiety pretty much yeah, 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 exactly. Precisely. He is, he's fucking mad with anxiety. Or, I guess, lethargic with anxiety. I don't know. Uh, he's like, he's in his head, like, oh, you know, I don't know how I should say it. Like, I, I enjoy talking to her. Maybe I should say that. Maybe, you know, the whole thing is, you know. Wait, I, is he, making a, like, is he uh, developing a crush on her? Yeah, he's developing a crush on her. He oh, wants to talk oh. to her more. He wants to spend more time with her. And I'm like, yeah, that's cute. Right. That's great, you know? He's this big, lumbering, super melancholy dude and it's like oh you know he's developing a little crush that's great you know and while he's having his inner monologue this girl's just looking at him it's like oh you're here for that aren't you okay and then just fucking strips and i'm and like Wait, is, this bunny, is this the same bunny girl <laughs> yeah same bunny girl i'm like oh. what is happening like 
<laughs> he's over here. So it like this is what I say about this this anime having great directing. So it does like a split screen. On one side it's him inner monologuing. On the other side it's her getting undressed. And it's like he doesn't even notice that this is all happening. So he's like going on and on and on and on until he, you know, finish, finally opens his eyes, like, all right, this is what I'm gonna say. And then there she is. He's like, oh, you want to, you know, I see what you're here for. I've never done it with a carnivore before, but, you know, be gentle with me. And he's like, huh? What? Huh? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> like he's fucking stunned. And so am I. I'm like, why is this happening? Why do we have to be here? Yamate. <laughs> oh, my God. And he, she starts feeling up on him and fucking goes in his pants. I'm like, Yamato, <laughs> stop. <laughs> no more. Spare my eyes, please. But luckily, he's like, "Wow, yeah, no, none of this. Take this, take this sheet. I'm gonna run away." So he runs away. Thank Christ! I, I swear to God, if that went any further, I would have, I, I would have called, I would have made a call. Oh really? <laughs> I would have been like, "Hey, anime company, fuck you. I don't care. You might have made Land of Illustrious, but you can go eat a dick." Hey, Studio Orange, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, Studio Orange, for making me watch that. <laughs> Ah, they got you. That's how they get you. <laughs> That's how they got me, and I hate it. Is that is that how the episode ends, or is it like more to it? That no, no. That's the first half of the third episode, oh, and man. how episode two ends. It's when she's filling up on him. Mm. Are gonna continue watching it? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna continue watching it. It's fucking interesting, but I hate it. That's what I said. Uh, this is a. This is probably. This is getting closer and closer to being my favorite anime. Oh my god. Who would have who would have uh, not thought? favorite anime all of all time, but of right. this season. Of the season. Who would have thought, Jaron? Who would have thought exactly thought? like I saw this, I'm like, this this is dangerous. This could be some fucking whack ass shit and I might have to stop watching it. But it's so engaging. <laughs> You know, interestingly enough, I've been hearing a lot, like, in general about Beastars, how, like, it's a lot more, like, emotionally deep. Uh, exactly. As it goes on. So, like, it interests me. Because I, I like that kind of drama and all that stuff. And how, you know, individuals can, like, what is it, um, be involved with each other at a certain point where their vulnerability becomes, you know, a part of their connection with each other. Either emotionally mm-hmm. or physically, you know. No, not physically. <laughs> you rather not have it be physically? <laughs> no, just just like hold each other's hand and be cute. That's it. I'm That's all. That's drunk. as far as you need to go. I mean, I think I think they've been teasing no. that they can go further than that. They're no. just teasing you no. like, oh, we no, don't, have to, this we don't the... have to do this now. We can do it later. <laughs> no, no, no. This is a one-time scare. They just wanted to lay out what their personalities were like. That she's like a cool, she's just a regular girl outside of, you know, being... You know, whatever. What? Outside of sleeping around. Oh, okay. And well, I mean, she's a bunny, so isn't that sort of like uh, the thing? That's racist. Bunnies? That's S- racist. Species, you mean? <laughs> that's racist. <laughs> I mean, don't they? Don't aren't don't bunnies like populate a lot? Are they, I mean, I guess. Very, yeah, I mean, they're very procreative. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, I mean that's the whole thing. But like, we could have just stuck with the theater and like him becoming a better a more open person because he's cool that's it that's all i need it but drawn we need life needs romance and well, romance... where are we gonna be without those rabbit titties you know <laughs> like come on dude <laughs> like let's I mean, drawn, are we gonna see some rabbit nip like <laughs> i i fucking pray to god we don't <laughs> like i don't I mean, as good as this anime is, I'm probably gonna have to stop there. Like, I as a as a fundamental, like like just just as a core value, I'll have to stop. A core like, value? That's that what you're calling it? Yes. <laughs> you you're dangling this fucking amazing show above this fucking fur pit. I don't need that. <laughs> like, like good direction, good writing, character, good character characters development, but it's a furry. You just had furry. <laughs> Add fur, <laughs> and there you go. No, it, to subtract fur, make them like make them personifications of their their animal form. You know, maybe like, like maybe no he's friends. like like a like yeah like come on no friends like do that then you know that's fine do what you got to do. Anyone could be naked. I don't give a shit. You're a monster person at that point, not a furry. 
But no, they had to be like, no, they have to be full on furs for it to make sense. Well, when you think about it this way, Gerard, I feel like this would be a good starter into like getting into your fursona, I guess. You know, this is something, <laughs> e- something to ease your way into like, you know what? It's okay. Everyone has anxieties like Mr. Wolf Chan, <laughs> Wolf Kun. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you're the one watching it and still watching it. <laughs> I know, and I hate it. It's becoming my favorite anime of the season, and I hate it. <laughs> like, ah, uh, I hate that I like this anime so much. It maybe this I, will be a chance for you, Jaron, to understand. No, fuck you. <laughs> shut the hell up. <laughs> if I swear to God, I I I really wish. This anime was going to be bad, so I could stop watching it, but it's not. And I don't I don't know how I feel. See, Jaron, you can be, even you can be empathetic. You know, open your heart <laughs> to the idea that... No. No, Zootopia there, was enough. There lies another realm that we may never cross, but you can at least understand it. Jaron. No, I refuse. Well, you watching this anime doesn't you really s- say... You it. stay on the other side of the wall. <laughs> I gotta watch this night just because, like, I mean, if you're raving about this, I de- it definitely is something that I need to put on my radar. Give, you know, despite the whole furry thing in general. It's so bad. But it's so good. So bad. According it's... to you. Three cheers for Deer Man because he's the best character out there. Like, he's fucking cool as shit. He's, he's what an asshole character needs to be. He needs to be intense, up in your face arrogant narcissistic but accomplished goal oriented accomplished that man animal thing individual individual (laughs) is a good character that's a great character right that right then and there i can't wait to see what fucking happens next i like that i hate I just hope we're done with the bunny girl. I'm done with her character. Oh no, I feel like I feel like she's like, she's right. part of that main yeah, cast. To like, yeah, this fucking show's like 24 episodes long. Of oh. course, she's gonna come back. <laughs> oh, oh, she'll come back. All right, you know. Uh, don't <laughs> you dare! <laughs> don't you fucking dare! Hey, we're going in that direction. We might as well start embracing no, ourselves for no. the inevitable. You know what? We've been talking for a bit now. You know, it's time for. I think it's time to wrap it up here. You know, it's great. Wrap it up, yeah. I think it's time to wrap (laughs) it up with the. (laughs) Make sure you wrap it up, guys, for your. I want to fucking die. I want to die. I want (laughs) to die. Oh man, uh, that's true. We have been going out for a little bit now, (laughs) about an hour and forty some minutes. Um, a lot to talk about. We have lots of lots to say. A lot to talk about. Um, but a reminder, a reminder again, you guys as well. Daisho Khan 2019 is coming up real soon, really fast. So, um, again, if you guys let, know know what we look like, recognize us by voice. Come by, say hi, tell Drowning's wrong about furries, and we'll have a good time all together. <laughs> there is nothing you can say. I swear to God, Jordan. And so we actually get somebody in a fur suit. Try to like. You know. I will. I will. I will be upset. <laughs> I will be fundamentally upset. Or even you, like you, you back away. Or even doesn't do anything. He just hugs you. Like it's okay. It's okay. No. We, no. You, you don't. You, you may not like me, but but we. Yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's okay, Jaron. Um, or already, or already, uh, a reminder, guys. We're also, uh, we're all on those new platforms now that Jaron listed up. So be sure to. You know, give us the usual, give us the usual downloads and all that stuff. Um, thank you again for listening with us, downloading. You know, we can't have have any of the success for you, uh, success or any kind of success without any of you, two thousand some motherfuckers downloading us every week. Um, strange enough, today's episode was actually we recorded on a Monday itself, so there was some timing. Uh, timing difficulties that needed to be yeah, arranged. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a piece of shit, and I had to study <laughs> for my exam that I should have studied for beforehand. Did you at least pass, or feel like you passed? Huh? I think so. Now I have okay. to stay up and half a half the night to fucking study for more exams. Oh, that's great. Oh, oh. sounds like the busy student life uh, you got there, Jaron. Um, yeah, it's great. <laughs> I'm totally doing fine. It's good. <laughs> but, um. As always, guys, uh, my name is Mel Socorro. My name is Jerron Gaddis. 
and we are the Wanna Be Boo Podcast, bringing you the latest and greatest game anime news, reviews, and waifus for life. Thanks for listening, guys, and we'll talk to you next time. Matane.